So there's the skin up here. And then here is, is or was the subcutis. Now there's something going on here. This reminds me of like encapsulated fat necrosis. And it reminds you of encapsulated fat necrosis because that is precisely what it is. It's actually like the best example ever. It's so fantastic because you can see, A, because we can see the skin, like it was beautifully removed by a very skilled dermatologist. And they took the skin and then popped the nodule out from underneath. And the nodule is perfectly circumscribed and encased by a wall of fibrosis and a bit of inflammation, right? You can see here's this kind of peripheral wall of fibrosis making a band. And then if you look on the outside, that's their normal living happy fat, relatively happy. And then next to it, not happy fat. And that the fat can have a range of like fat necrosis with foamy histiocytes like here. If we flip the condenser, we can see the bubbly foamy a little bit better. Xanthomatous cells, right? And fat necrosis is a thing worth studying because it can look kind of weird and wild sometimes. And not here, it's really easy because we can see that it's a, a nodule. But sometimes on a small biopsy, you can really struggle with like, what's all the cellularity going on here? And then sometimes like the actual adipocytes where there used to be adipocyte is rimmed around by histiocytes, right? See, the histiocytes are surrounding the empty space that used to be a dead fat cell. And then the other areas here are more like sheet-like like everything here is just dead fat, right? It doesn't have as much histiocyte. It's all just wiped out, like kind of almost mummified, you know, a sheet of totally ghosted out dead fat where the nuclei are almost all gone, right? Sometimes you can see that arabesque pattern, lipomembranous change in um, encapsulated fat necrosis. And I feel like these, I, my understanding is that usually this is like a post-traumatic thing, like post-traumatic fat necrosis sometimes basically gets a, totally dead nodule and then gets walled off by scar um, or fibrosis like we saw in this case. And then it presents this nice um, nodule of kind of dead and mummified eventually fat that is walled off and doesn't get resorbed by the body. And it can persist, I understand, for like sometimes for years. It can be there for a long time because it's encased in the fibrosis so that it never like gets cleaned up by the, by the rest of the, by the immune system and the histiocytes, right? It's all just walled off here. Like, like the nuclear reactor at Chernobyl, right? It's just in like a little sarcophagus. So I just made that up today. We'll see if that, if that sticks. If it does, then we'll, I'll cite this video in the future and say that I coined it here today on 9 to 2021. Okay. Just kidding. Wait, I'll wait for the Nobel committee to give me a call about that one. Um, <clears throat> and I hope you guys are giving me a pity laugh from home. Thank you. Um, in any case, here's another, another slice from the same, uh, same case. So, and these, as you guys know, um, these sometimes are mobile and these little nodules can like move around and the patient can like push it around like a little marble under the skin, which is really pretty crazy and wild. Um, and I'll see if I can get access to a video of that to include or upload at some point in the future, uh, because it's pretty, pretty cool. If I find a video, I'll check, if you're watching this on YouTube, check the, the video description down below for links. I usually put links and stuff in video descriptions on my videos.